My name is Joseph Farrar, and today I'd love to show you a great application that I think is going to change the way in which you configure your Broadsoft services. Now, without ever having to leave your desktop, you can turn certain services on and off based on the new platform that Broadsoft has just released called XSI. So let's check out this application. What kind of application is it, you say? Well, it's an Adobe Air application, which means it not only runs on Windows, but it also runs on Mac. Pretty cool. Let's check it out. It's as easy as clicking install now. When a box opens up, we say open. When it asks us to install, we just click install. It's going to ask to install a shortcut on your desktop. You don't have to install the shortcut on your desktop, but it makes it a lot easier when you want to launch the application later on. We'll say continue. After it installs the application, we're going to have to configure a few things. Number one, we need to put in the server address for the XSI. That's going to go ahead and be the sandbox currently on Broadsoft. And then we'll put in a password. Now I'm not going to let you see my password, otherwise you could go ahead and log in and make some changes. Once you're done, click Save Changes or Save Settings. Once you click Save Settings, it's going to go ahead and open up and pull your services. Now you'll notice that Simultaneous Ring has a red dot, same with Remote Office, and Do Not Disturb. But Call Forward Always has a green dot. That means Call Forward Always is turned on, and it's active. Now if we want to turn Do Not Disturb on, all we have to do is click on the button. It'll configure it, turn it on, and we know that it's on because of the little green dot. Now some of you may say, well how do we know it's on? Well, we can log in and make sure that it is on. Once we log in, we can go to incoming calls, scroll down, and see that Do Not Disturb is on. Now for those of you that still don't believe, I'm going to minimize and show you in real time it turning on and off your services. So let's click it again. Do Not Disturb will turn off, and we'll check Broadsoft. Do Not Disturb is off. Additionally, if we want to go ahead and configure Call 40 and always, all we have to do is click on it, and if we want, we can change the number. Now this is the number for the movie Phone Line here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Once we click Save, it'll update the service and complete. If we go into Incoming Calls and go to Call Forward Always, we'll see that it's updated to that number I just put in. Well, I don't really want it on anymore, so I'm going to turn it off. I hit Save, updates the service, and turns it off and you can see now the service is off. Well, what if I want to go ahead and dial out? It's pretty simple too. Click on dial pad. Now based on the device that you have configured for your account, it will cause your phone to ring. When you pick up your phone, it'll connect you to the phone number that you type in right here. So let's go ahead and type in a phone number. This is just going to be an extension. Because the extended platform currently allows you to call extensions. So let's click call. We click answer, it opens up, and it says that it's placed on hold by the remote party. Because currently, extension 0006 is not online. So we're going to go ahead and hang up. But as you just saw, it initiated a call from the desktop. And if you need to edit your settings, it's as simple as clicking edit settings and modifying the values in these boxes. Once again, my name is Joseph Farrar, and I hope you enjoyed what you saw. I hope you enjoy QuickSet, and I encourage you to go download it. Please go to joedeveloper.net forward slash QuickSet to download your copy today.